or four, four or five times, I think. Actually, it might actually be five. It's going up because I don't remember. I just know that I did this quest less times than anything because I didn't, because this quest is really, really easy. That's the exit. So that's probably the room that he's probably living in. There we go. Alright. Hi, buddy. Oh, yes, this is the area. I remember because this is that dumb area that is really weird. Oh, I hate that. Okay, come on, buddy. Get out of there. Alright, I want your sword and I want your ectoplasm. And that has nothing for me. Okay, so this is a really weird thing that does end up. Uh, that can end up breaking your character. Um, unless you're me, of course, and your character's already broken. So, there is this thing here. I guess this is the broken thing. I'm pinning me that way. Alright. So. Sometimes you won't be able to jump over this for some weird reason. Your character gets ah! stuck here and can't jump. I guess this is it. Okay. Sometimes you can bypass this depending on how high your acrobatics is. Or sometimes you'll get stuck in here. Yeah, you can get wedged in here and it's kind of weird to kind of get out of it. Uh, the best thing that I can actually suggest is to have high enough acrobatics, jump, over to the top area over here and as quick as possible. If you get stuck, kind of just slide your way down kind of thing and just keep re rinse repeating and you should be fine. Uh, you should be fine. There should be nothing really too bad about it. Alright, here we go. That looks like Titanite to be honest. Okay, so we're, we're locked in here? Yep, we're locked in here. All right, so now that we're stuck in here, we're not actually stuck in here. Uh, you're supposed to parkour from there to there to there and then parkour up, but we can all just, just bypass this by just going here and just jumping up here. But for a lower acrobatic person, that's how you're supposed to do it. Supposed to be able to, if I can kind of just not actually go off, jump here to there, then try and jump here, you might be able to get lucky, or you might be unlucky and try to get the corner here. You might be able to shimmy your way back up here, and then once you're up here, you should be up here. I've done it before. Uh, and of course, you click this. And you get up here. Actually, I show off through this. How you do it. I mean, this is definitely not the best representation of this, because I, of course, have a lot of acrobatics. So I could just bypass this very easily. And then you get up here, and then you jump, and then you kind of just do this, and you can shimmy your way over there because you're clipping through the corner here, so it boots you up. Then you can kind of just go around here, do a little jump, you can do this. This must be the disused garbage chute that swims with fishes I was talking about. I'm not sure if jumping into it is such a good idea. Well, doesn't matter. I kind of jumped in anyway. I'm going to cast my breathing apparatus. And we're going to kind of just go in here. Hi, Rocky. Uh, I'm looking for uh, baby orgonia. Ooh, and some nice food. Ooh, clams. I got a venue key. Uh, I don't see a baby orgonian, though. There's no way he literally meant an egg. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on a second. Can't we just use the key to unlock the door so he can go back in instead of uh, taking the egg? There's no sign of a young Agonian anywhere, but I have found a very large egg. A leather, 
very large leathery egg. Could this be? No, surely not. And it's weird that he wants us to take it, too. Hi. Bye. I think it's supposed to be hostile, but this is just a normal armor thing. Where anything that's supposed to be hostile is not hostile. My brother, you found him. Thank you so much for bringing him back to me. I don't have much to give you, but I've been hanging on to this for a while. Maybe you'll have more use for it than I do. Okay. I don't understand why you want me to go there, pick up your brother, and then leave if you're just probably just going to end up going back there anyway. Whatever. Don't care. Not my problem, anyway. Alright. We're gonna go over to here. We're gonna go back, and we're gonna wait till that other quest triggers. Ah! It might have triggered already, and I just didn't realize it. No, get up. There you go. Perfect. So, after you defeat Gareth, and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, something is supposed to appear in that mailbox thing that is at the castle. It didn't appear when the last time I, ch well, I checked before the chest, but then again, it might be something that's like, like the, like the, the book. Yeah, there's a bunch of time traveling jokes kind of thing in here, where there's the TARDIS from the Doctor Who. Uh, there's a DeLorean here. Yeah, there you go. There's the, the time-traveling DeLorean. There was another one in here, right? There's another time travel joke in here. Or is it just those two? I don't know. Uh, this is a time travel joke within the Elder Scrolls game. I think. Or it brings something from the past to the future kind of thing. Weird coloring, anyway. Yes, this is it. Okay, so... It might be the same trigger. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, just do it anyway. You should be able to be fine. Uh, message from Ramanus Polis. Uh, let's read the note. I have received a message from Ramanus Polis at the Arcane University concerning some research that Gareth was conducting. I should go and see him soon. Lord Crusader, I have some items left by Gareth and I think you should take a look at. Please come and see me at the Arcane University when you get the chance. Ramanus Polis. Cool story, bro. Uh, we're not gonna go do that. No, I'm kidding. So, we're gonna go over there right now. Uh, we're gonna go and take a look at what Romnus has for us. Maybe it's something good. Maybe it's something... Maybe it's something that, uh, maybe it would have been something we could have used before we dealt with Gareth. Maybe it could have been the bane of all Dr Lord of Dragon Fires or whatever. Ah! Maybe it could have been something that could have destroyed it. I don't know. Uh, is he up here? Is he downstairs? It's up here, isn't he? Yeah, he's up here. Alright, where is he? Hello? You have the hand. I'm at your service, sir. Uh, Gareth's research. Ah, yes. Thank you for asking. As you know, Gareth was an avid collector of ancient artifacts and often came here for research. We found that he had left some of his belongings here, and uh, I think you ought to look at them. Uh, what are they? We found this arrow amongst his possessions. What's interesting is that it radiates magic very strongly, but we can't tell what kind of magic it is. You'll also notice that the arrow appears to have been dipped in some sort of blood. Are there any clues about the arrow? Only this. It was wrapped in this charcoal rubbing of a carved stone tablet, or Stella. While the bottom part is missing, the top depicts five suns, with the middle one radiating strongly. We think this indicates midday, or high noon. High Garrett noon. scrawled Trumba on the sheet. Maybe that's where he obtained the rubbing, or was planning to go. It's high noon. No, I'm kidding. Okay. Uh, sun hollowed arrow. That's all the information I have, I'm afraid. It's as much of a mystery to me as it is to you. Okay. 
uh, Trimbe. It's the name of an Iliad ruin in the Westweald region. Here, I'll mark it on your map. Cool, cool. All right, let's go. Good day. All right, we found everything. Let's go. We need to go to Trumbe, or Trumb. Also, it's pronounced Stele, apparently. I could be wrong. Uh, another Oblivion mod has taught me that, but then again, I could be wrong. Could be pronounced Steely or whatever. I mean, I originally thought it was pronounced Steely too, but that mod is pronounced it as Stele, so I could, be, I could be wrong. And if that's correct, hooray! That mod actually taught me something. <laughs> Alright. You know what? We're going to need uh, some very nice assistance so that we know the Dark King doesn't need to be, isn't bothered by anyone. How can I help? Or Follow me, Tess. We need your assistance. We need your bodyguard assistance to guard the Dark King while he investigates this ruin to find out whatever <laughs> Gareth's evil plan was supposed to be with this area. Might be in here. All right, test whenever you want to. Hey, look. Okay. So it looks like the stele on the left appears to be a map of Tamriel. Sunbeams are shown radiating from an island east southeast of the Imperial City. Could have just said southeast. Jesus, man. Okay, what about this? The middle stele shows a dragon with rays emanating from it. It is most likely to be Akatosh. What a cool statue. All right, so something about uh, the right stele matches the charcoal rubbing that Reminus Polis gave me. The full stele shows an archer standing on some sort of pedestal, aiming an arrow at the midday sun. Perhaps these stele, well, that's a weird, I don't think there's supposed to be an A there, uh, are clues that point to what Gareth was looking for. So maybe that mod got it wrong. Maybe there's supposed to be an A in there. Cool story, bro. I want your staff. Thank you. All right, bodyguard. I was gonna say, don't tell me you're angry at me. Ah, oh, we've already finished all this stuff. All right, Let's see if we can leave. We did it. With lag. Apparently. Alright. Since we found that, uh, here's the correct answer. Uh, in case you wanted to know. If you want to do this yourself. Uh, we need to head back to the Castle of the Nine. Okay. After we get to the Castle of the Nine game. Don't crash, please. Go in here. Turn on some crash. Alright. There we go. Go in here, you go through the glass of time. Uh, does, do we have something? No, but we, we, actually, technically we do have it, okay. So, before we go any further, make sure you have a bow. You need a bow specifically to be able to continue onward. If you have a bow, it's in the chest. That's why I'm not bothered to go get one. It doesn't have to be a special bow. It doesn't have to be a mod bow or anything like that. You can pick an iron bow out from, like, you know, the tutorial dungeon and you'd still be fine. So we need to get to this island, I believe, over here. Now, if you've been through the Mage's Guild quest, you should know how to get in there. Uh, if you don't, then allow me to show you exactly where you need to go. That is if the... As if the area actually is the same. I think it's this one. Uh, is I do stop the tunnel list spell here. 
Okay, there we go. All right, where are you going, Tess? Yeah, I'm not letting this troll live, though. All right, I need to go to the Wellspring Cave. Once we get into the Wellspring Cave, there's going to be no enemies in here. That's great. That's exactly what we would want. We don't want enemies. Enemies are too mean for us. We want to go through here. Now, once we get through here, we're going to have a ton of enemies around us. There are going to be some aliens. I think there's two, maybe three Aurorans nearby? Is it just aliens? It is just aliens. There is no other Aurorans. Interesting. Oh, there is two Aurorans. Okay. I knew there was more than one Aurorin, but whatever. It's fine. All right. So I want to take a look at the time. I want to take a look at the time, man. Uh, 1 p.m. We missed it. We missed it by an hour and a half. 